Hey everybody, how you all doing? I just wanted to get out this unexpected little movie review. And of course, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. And of course, sure, I know, well, not, not where I am. It's a little home away from home. I got, I, got, I got a cat in front of me. So, actually, it's a kitten. So, yeah, she's just giving me, giving me uh, you know, a little, little comfort. So, I just want to breeze through this real quick. So, yeah, um, I just want, and so... I didn't, didn't, did not expect to do this movie review, but I wanted to strike while the iron was hot because, as you know, um, Focus Two just dropped on, on the stream on uh, Disney Plus uh, the other day. So again, I just wanted to share my thoughts. But before I go into that, I'm going to admit something uh, about Hocus Pocus, and I'm probably going to get some hate for, and I'm going, I'm, I'm going to say this right now is that, sure, it's a popular movie, but this movie pisses me off every Halloween. Do you want to know why? It's because of how many times this movie plays on television. It's, seriously, it's almost every other day or, or sometimes twice a day over on Freeform. Why? And, and like, it takes the it takes the fun away. I mean, this getting, seriously, it gets more syndication than the entire Halloween franchise and Friday the 13th combined. It just grinds my gears. Seriously. Freeform, stop. We get it. it's a good movie. It's a it's a charm charming movie. It's and but seriously, this movie pisses me off so often that I just I can't I cannot take it because every because it's so popular. I get it's popular, but can you tone it down a little bit? Seriously, that's all I need to say. But anyway, let's talk about uh, Hocus Pocus two. Um, with this super what's he say? Well, to a popular movie. Well, let's see. I'm gonna say this right now, it's not good, folks. I'm gonna admit this right now. It is not good. It is folk the story and the movie focuses more on fan service than actual plot. I mean, the plot is I'm gonna say is a little mediocre at best. And I'm trying to not to give too much away, but again, I again I understand they're trying to introduce this movie to more modern audiences and there's a lot of modernization especially with the technology in almost the 30 years that 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 has elapsed since uh the first movie and all that so yeah it's crazy to think about that but but yeah um but what about nods how is how is everything thing fall in place like how are they back but of course it all explains it i've I really feel like uh, Anne Fletcher did a good job to explain that. Also, I feel like she did a good job, like, kind of explaining more on the Sanderson sisters, the Sanderson war. I thought that was good, but everything else was just mediocre, all right? Um, let's see. Sure, the acting is okay, um, The except for the child actors. I'm going to admit this right now. The child actors at the beginning part of the movie were it was it was just not good. You can tell they were kind of hamming it up and it were not, not doing their – doing their job i don't know i i really can't can't it's hard to describe but overall i feel like uh it's a, i feel like it's some that just falls flat and of course of course just like the first hocus pocus movie where they left the door open for a possible sequel this one did too i'm like are you kidding me we really don't need to do that that's the only spoiler thing i'm gonna give away um but but of course i do like the fact that they have some some other things that they've done and make, there are some funny moments that just make you just go okay that that's clever um let's see it's good to see him naturally sit back in these characters especially sarah jessica parker and ben miller and Kathy and jimmy all good stuff like my one thing is is um i don't know if i noticed this i don't know if it was the makeup but i but i felt like like I don't, I don't know if I don't know if anybody else knows this, but if you guys notice it. It's just me, or did 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 Bed is the makeup on Ben Miller's face make make her face look more frozen than than natural? I don't know. I feel like it's not. I feel like it's just something about but the whole makeup job was just a little off. That's the, my only thing thing that I just noticed about. But yeah, everything else I really think was just it was just fan service. Okay, I mean I understand you wanted. To appeal to the to the, the diehard fans, but and also introduce new ones. But I feel like when, here's the thing: when you oversaturate the movie with too much, you're going to lose your audience. And to me, I felt like they they just they kind of ruined it a little bit. All right, but it's to me, I really feel like there's definitely some room for improvement. But overall, um, I don't know if you if anybody who loves Hocus Pocus, I'd say stick to the original one if you want to. This one, I don't know. Take your pick. Okay, I really think. Like, 
and Fletcher could have just flushed out a couple, m couple more characters and, and their flaws and all that, like, but and just dialed back on everything else. I think would have been a fine sequel. This one is, and this sequel is just subpar, right? I'm, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna give uh, Hocus Pocus two a three and a half out of ten. I'm sorry, all right. I tried to. I was gonna score it higher, but again, there's a lot that's boxing it down, and the plot is just mediocre. That's pretty much it, all right? Now, uh, again, I, I, again, I might be wrong on a few things, but I want to hear your thoughts. If you guys want to watch it, it's still streaming on on a Disney Plus. So that does it for a night. I hope to see you guys pretty soon, and hopefully w when I review the new Halloween movie, okay? So that does it for a night. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up to the video. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for some more awesome and exciting content.